Hello, this is Ruth Warrington. In this training video, I'm going to show you how to use the different tools that are in the Compose section. So these are some of the tools up here. I'm going to split it into two parts, so this is part one. So first of all, you need to select a piece of text that you wish to edit. So I've just done this one, Law of Attraction. If I click on Bold, and I click Away, you can notice it's now gone bold. So let's say I want to go and click on Empowers and I want it to make it italic. You'll see it's now gone italic. And let's say I want to select Selective and make that underline. And then I want to select Wonderful law of attraction and if I go over here it's changed the font so this is where you can change the font so at the moment it's at Calibri let's say I want to make it comic, comic Sans it changes I do that again this time I make it Times New Roman and it changes so let's go back to the original one and then I go to do not hear and I click on this one here change font size so at the moment it's default to 12 but I can make it size 30 so it really stands out or I can go down to size 8 which makes it smaller I'm going to go back to default of 12 then I go to highlight this bit here like so and I go to this one here it's change the color so let's say I go yellow so it's now made that piece of text yellow go here and I let's say I make it blue now I go to this bit over here this is actually going to do a block it's going to cover the entire piece like so so it actually covers the entire so it highlights it but it's more prominent and let's say over here I want to make them bullet points so this is you can do numbers and it will number it for you okay when it does this best thing to do is to press delete and delete there and then you've got your bullet points so all together we've covered in this section bold, italic, underline, change of the font style, change the font size, change the font color, and change the highlight color as well, and also create a numbered list. So that's what we've covered in this part one tutorial of how to use the different tools in Outlook.com's email. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for further free training videos. See you in the next video.